If you're an Amazon seller and you're spending big money on Amazon PPC, or you're ready to start spending big money on Amazon PPC, then stay locked in on this video because I'm gonna be sharing with you how Zon Tools is helping sellers get insane results with their super intelligent automated PPC management system. Whether you're unhappy with your current Amazon PPC results or you're wanting to access smarter and more profitable Amazon PPC management software, you're gonna wanna see this video because I'll be showing you why Zon Tools is exactly what Amazon sellers need to build their PPC campaigns quickly and effectively. So let's get started. Real quick, before we jump into it, if you don't know me, my name is Ian Smith with Evolve Media Agency. We're an Amazon marketing agency that helps sellers boost the conversion rate of their listings, rank higher using off Amazon marketing strategies, and get more reviews through email marketing. One of our most popular services right now is our full listing revamp, where basically we take a lot of new product photos, we shoot product videos, we completely overhaul all the copy on the listing by doing keyword research and rewriting the title, the bullet points, the EBC copy and everything like that. So if you are wanting to completely revamp your listing, boost up the conversion rate so that your PPC ads perform a whole lot better, then book a free consulting call with me by going to emaamz.com. All right, so now let's jump into the video talking all about Zon Tools and how it is a tool that you for sure need if you're wanting to increase your Amazon business's revenue and overall get a much better return on your PPC ad spend. All right, so how I structured this video is the first part I'm be telling you about Zon Tools, why it's great, why it's amazing, and what you can really do with this tool and what the tool does for you. And then in the second part, I'm going to be sharing my screen, showing you the Zon Tools dashboard and showing you how easy it is to really take a couple clicks and set up a campaign that's going to have multiple uh, initiatives and strategies to help you sell more of whatever ASIN you're running ads for. All right, so basically Zon Tools is a set it and forget it type of platform. I know that sounds like too good to be true, but basically it uses AI, you know, artificial intelligence, machine learning to basically optimize your campaigns and manage your campaigns to add in new keywords and remove keywords that aren't performing well and to adjust bids and increase the bid on keywords that are working and decrease the bid that to keywords that aren't working. And it's crazy what kind of stuff you can do with this. You can literally set rules to kind of guard and, and maintain and manage that AI artificial machine algorithm that is managing your campaigns if you don't want to just let it go and you wanna have some kind of control over it. But if you don't wanna set rules and actually try to control it because it is a little bit of work and it's kind of complex, then you can literally just have Zon Tools do everything and you will see probably some good results. Now, you gotta keep in mind that it all comes down to the foundation of your listing. You know, if you got bad images, if you got bad copy, if your listing is not not doing well to convert, chances are Zon Tools is not going to just be the, the magic wand that fixes everything, right? Zon Tools is gonna get you that exposure, but ultimately you, you need a great listing with great photos and videos and content to overall sell your product. So if you have that, that's the foundation, then you're gonna see great results with Zon Tools. Now with Zon Tools, what you wanna create is a PGN. This is called a product group name. Now when you set up a new PGN, basically it's in set it and forget it, advertising system. So what it does is it creates five campaigns and four ad groups all at once. Now, four of these campaigns are for keywords. So it's auto, broad, phrase, and exact match type of keyword targetings and things like that. And then the fifth campaign is product attribute targeting campaign. So there's going to be four ad groups in here, one for competing brands, category targeting, ASIN targeting, and then defending your own ASINs. Now, what that means is basically you're gonna be running ads on your own listing to take up those spots so that your competitors can't run ads on your listings and ultimately steal sales from you. Now, basically a PGN is like an ad agency or a team of people that are managing your campaign, working for you 24 seven, and are gonna automatically mine profitable search terms and optimize campaigns by completely getting rid of ad spend that's not working and funneling budget into things that are working and focusing in on the keywords and just optimizing keywords, putting bids higher, putting bids lower, removing certain keywords, all that kind of stuff. So 
that's what's happening behind the scenes in this PGN campaign that you're gonna create. Now, like I said before, these PGN campaigns are completely automated. You can literally just click a couple buttons to set it up and then it's gonna go and it's going to optimize and find new keywords for you to target. You can input a couple keywords to kind of get it going, but you don't have to really put that many in and it will literally just optimize and find new keywords to keep targeting. It's going to use that automation and artificial intelligence to you know, make everything working well. But if you, again, like I said, if you don't fully trust it and you don't want it to do all that, then you can set up rules to kind of safeguard and prevent a cost from getting too high and prevent spend from going too high and prevent your bidding from going too high. So you can set these rules to kind of safeguard and limit what the artificial intelligence is gonna do for your campaigns. Basically, it's like having a self-driving car that you can always take over and take the steering wheel and make it do what you wanna do, or you can just let it go and it will just, drive you to a profitable Amazon business. Now I mentioned some of these rules and parameters that you can set before, but just to name a couple more, you can set a max spend on keywords and targetings with no sales. So if it's spent, let's just say $20 and you haven't gotten one sale from that spend, then you can go ahead and have it uh, stop spending on that keyword. You can set a minimum amount of clicks with no sales. So if you've already paid for 15, 20 clicks and you haven't gotten any sales from it, then you can go ahead and squash that out and prevent that from spending more and getting more clicks without any more sales. And then also, like I mentioned before, you can set a target ACoS. So if you know that you're profitable at a 30% ACoS or a 50% ACoS, you can set that as like your max ACoS and it will not go above that. So this is obviously really great for preventing you from wasting money on keywords that are not actually converting into sales. You know, you can basically set a floor and a ceiling to have this this super intelligent machine working for you and optimizing your overall Amazon ad spend. Now, a couple of really cool parameters that I like that you can set up is basically average product price. Now, what this does is let's say that your price of your product is at $20. Well, if you are competing against products that are $35 and it's pretty much the same product as yours, then Zon tools will make it so that your ads are showing up on those more expensive options, increasing the chances that they actually go with your price because because they're already on this higher price products page. And if they see your lower price products, then you may be able to steal sales from your competitors. Another cool feature is an average product rating. So let's say that your average product rating is 4.5 stars. Well, there are other, let's just say that there are other competing products in your space that may have 4.3 stars or 3.8 stars. So what Zon Tools will set up is ads running on those lower rated products your ads will show up on those listings so that it will increase the chances of people on those pages to buy your product since you will have a higher rating than those other listings. Now, another cool feature that I mentioned before is a max keyword spend. So let's say that you're wanting to test new keywords to see you know, if those are viable and if those are gonna work for you. So what you can set up is a max keyword amount so that if you spend you know, 30 to 100% on that actual keyword targeting, that may be a good way to gauge if you should spend more and really scale more into those keywords. So you can kind of set like, what is the max amount of budget that you should put towards a keyword? And what Zon Tools recommends is 30 to 100%. So if you sell a $30 product, you know, you should try to be aggressive and spend anywhere from 10 to 20 to even $30 to try and get those sales to really see how are those keyword targetings working out for you? Is it a profitable way to actually target those keywords and stuff like that? Now, when it comes to keyword targeting and then keyword defense and you know defending your listings from having your competitors run ads on your listings, there's some really cool things that Zon Tools can help you set up with. So you can put in five to 10 high volume search terms that you definitely wanna rank for. You can also put in competitor ASINs so that you can compete against those with your ads in the search results as well as on their actual listing. And then with the defensive stuff, like I said, you can actually have your own ads on your own listing to make sure that that spot is filled with your actual ad. Now, I've been saying a lot of really cool things about Zon Tools, so maybe you're wondering, like, is this thing really expensive? Well, I'll tell you that ad agencies will typically charge anywhere from like $1,000 to $2,000 per month to manage Amazon PPC campaigns. Some ad agencies even take a percentage of profit, and they're gonna charge you that as well, but Honestly, Zon Tools is way lower than what ad agencies are gonna charge. Now, obviously there is some work to doing this. You're gonna have to set things up initially, you know, the whole set it and forget it thing. You gotta set it in order for you to forget it. But once you do set it up, then the 
overall monthly cost, it's gonna be based on what you're spending per month on the actual ad spend, but I can tell you that unless you're spending six figures a month, you're not gonna be spending a thousand to two thousand dollars per month on the actual Zon Tools platform. You know, it depends on what you're spending, but I would say if you're spending anywhere from like five to ten thousand dollars per month, you're probably gonna be spending anywhere from two hundred to three hundred dollars per month, depending on the plan that you go with with Zon Tools. Uh, for the actual Zon Tools platform. So I would say, you know, when you compare the cost of Zon Tools managing your ads versus ad agencies managing your ads, you're probably gonna spend about a tenth, maybe anywhere from like 10% to maybe 25% of what you would pay normally in ad agency, you probably pay 10 to 25% that to Zon Tools. Again, greatly depending on which plan tier you go with with Zon Tools and also how much is your actual ad spend. All right, so now I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna show you the Zon Tools dashboard and show you how quick and easy it is to actually set up a campaign. All right, so now you should be able to see my screen and we are here in the Zon Tools dashboard. Now to start everything off, you're gonna wanna click on this plus button right here. And that's going to give you this dropdown of the four different types of PGNs that you can create. Now, the most common is a sponsored product. You can also create a sponsored brand video, sponsored brand product collection, and then a sponsored display campaign. But in this video, we're just gonna be creating a sponsored product because that's the most commonly used. So when you click on that, then it's gonna open up this box right here. Now, this is just a basic demo account. These aren't my products at all. So I'm just gonna kind of show you how easy it is. But as you can see by these grayed out things up here, it's literally four steps and they're pretty simple. So let's just start with selecting this vent cover four pack right here. We're gonna add that and then we're gonna click on next. All right, now here's where you can set the thresholds and set the parameters and everything like that. So we're just gonna name this test, 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 test. Average product price is $20.95. Now again, like I said, this is going to help, you know, it by you setting the actual product price, if you have competitors that are higher priced than you, then ads, your ads will probably show up on their listing. So it's it's pretty cool to kind of steal away sales from your competition. Average product rating. Now, this is like where I said, you know, if your product rating is 4.5 and your a lot of your competitors are maybe like a 4.3 and things like that, then that's where you're gonna want to um, put in your product rating. Now it says here in this box, you know, if you don't have an average product rating, like maybe you're launching a brand new product, you can kind of put in uh, 4.3, or you can kind of just put in whatever number you know you may want to put in. But I would say, as far as setting up this campaign, there's some really good information in these little hover over type of question marks. So for now, we're just going to put in 4.3. All right, now this max keyword spend is basically how much are you going to allow a keyword to spend without getting any sales? So let's just put this at $20. I mean, it's going to depend on how much are you willing to risk, how much are you willing to potentially lose, but let's just put it at 20. I mean, typically when we're managing client PPC campaigns, we're going to put it at about $50. Um, so it's just going to depend on your threshold for pain. How much are you willing to risk? But um, it's also going to come down to how many keywords are you targeting? Because if you're targeting a whole bunch of keywords and you're putting at $50 per keyword, you know, across 10 keywords, that's already $500 that you could potentially lose. So obviously, you want to set it to whatever you're okay with losing. I'm just going to leave it at $50 for now. Now the target max A cost is pretty self-explanatory. You know, let's say that you're selling a product for $100 and your cost with fees and everything like that are $50. So your target max A cost could be $50 as well, but let's say you want to make a profit and you don't just want to break even. So you could put it at $40 or $30. Basically that would equate to 30% or 40%. I'm just using the $100 product price point as an easy thing to do. But for right now, we're just gonna put in 40% max ACOS because I would say that's a pretty common like max ACOS that people are willing to uh, settle for. All right, now this default bid basically is how much you are willing to bid on a click. So we're just gonna put $2. Now this little hover over box kind of gives you an idea of like how the Zon Tools algorithm is going to change things. So it says here, if you have a, an exact match campaign, then it's going to bid 100%. If you have a phrase match, it's going to bid 80% of whatever number you put in there. If you have a broad match campaign, it's going to bid 60%. So kind of helpful in there, but really I would just, you know, when you're testing the, this out for the first time, just put a high number, you know, you can always scale it back, but set your bid 
aggressively. All right, and pretty much the last parameter is the daily PGN budget. Now this is basically across these five campaigns that it's gonna create, how much total ad spend do you wanna put? So this PGN is gonna be for like one ASIN, right? The one ASIN that we selected. So let's just say that we wanna spend $100 a day across these five different campaigns that it's gonna create. So that's where you're gonna put in your total daily budget for those five campaigns across all of them. Now, real quick, if we click advanced settings, this is gonna give you some more parameters to potentially set minimum action click now, like I mentioned before, if you get like 10 clicks and still no sales have happened, then maybe you want to change things up. So I would just say leave it on the default settings, you know, 10, 32% change rate. So that's going to adjust your daily bid and change the percentage limits and things like that. Relevancy sales looks like relevancy sales are number of sales required for keyword miner, number of sales in the past set days required to determine if a search term is relevant to the product. So sometimes one is just not enough, two may barely be enough, but basically it's like once you do start getting sales through keyword phrases that you're targeting, you know, do you want it to start making big changes after like two sales go through or three sales? So I would say either anywhere between two to five relevancy sales is gonna be a decent number. Five may be a little bit conservative, so maybe you wanna do like two or three. And then the last little term here is min bid and max bid. Now that's pretty self-explanatory. How much do you want to set as your minimum bid for clicks or how much do you wanna set as your max bid for clicks? So you can set that around or you can just leave it as is and then you can just click next. Now this is where you're gonna to wanna to put in your keywords that you're targeting or your competing ASINs that you wanna target. So you can add that in right there. You can also upload a CSV file, which is pretty cool. And then you can also create those defense ASINs like I talked about. So if you want your ads to run on your own listings so that competing ASINs can't run on your listings, then this is where you're gonna to wanna to click on that and select your own ASIN. You know, So for this campaign, I believe I chose this vent cover product. So we would click on that so that we can place some defense and take up those spots on my own listing so that the competitors can't run their ads on my listing. So really cool. And that's pretty much it. You just do a couple clicks. You put in some parameters and thresholds and things like that. You click on next and it's saying that I need to enter in one keyword. So we're just going to type in vent covers and we're going to click next. Then it's gonna show you a complete summary breakdown on the different parameters, just so that you can check it one more time. And then you're gonna click on create PGN. And that is pretty much it to actually creating that PGN. And then after it's created, you can go into the campaign and you can then fine tune and change and set up rules if you want to guard and manage and set those limitations even more. I'm not gonna really go through all that because this video is already getting too long, but I think you get the point as far as Zon Tools being a very powerful tool that's gonna to help you make more money and prevent you from wasting money on your Amazon PPC ad spend and it's gonna make setting up campaigns a whole lot easier. Like I said, this is gonna create five campaigns and those five campaigns are gonna be a mixture of four campaigns for keywords and then one campaign for product targeting. So you got the four campaigns for keywords are gonna be auto, broad, phrase, and exact match keyword campaigns and then you got one campaign for product targeting or product attribute targeting campaign and the four ad groups in this one campaign are going to be competing brands, category targeting, ASIN targeting, and defending your own ASIN. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. You know, I definitely would recommend you give Zon Tools a try. If you already have an agency already managing your stuff, you know, hey, tell them to use Zon Tools for you or maybe test it out on your own. I mean, it seems like a pretty basic and easy to use platform. So hopefully this video was helpful. Again, thank you for watching. Again, if you want to book a free consulting call with me, maybe ask some questions about Zon Tools or look into our other services that we offer, head over to emaamz.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.